Wonderful Francis and Aspen the dog were enjoying the Scottish spring. The family were going for a walk, so he was packing up things to bring. He put some toys in a bag and put it on his back, and he took some chocolate that he'd been saving to have later for a snack. He picked up Toy Cat Twinkles that was laying on the bed. He decided not to pack him, but to carry him instead. Auntie Hannah had packed a picnic with some yummy, cheesy rolls. The cheese that was very yellow and was filled with little holes. They roamed across the fields and heard some big cows mooing. Francis went up to them and said, Cows, what are you doing? Come on, Auntie Hannah said. Let's leave them eat some more. OK, Francis shouted. As long as we can explore... They explored the woods for hours, finding bugs in trees, playing in the blooming flowers, running through the leaves. Aspen ran through a puddle that left his paws all muddy. Francis held Twinkles tight, his special little buddy. As they came out of the woods, the sun was shining bright. They spotted the perfect picnic spot with a big log just in sight. They ate their picnic quickly and gave Aspen a doggy treat. Francis gave Toy Cat Trinkles some of his food to eat. After lunch, they made their way home, back through the woods. Francis had enjoyed his day. The adventure was very good. When they got back, Francis dumped his stuff. He played a little bit and Hannah called up. Francis, come down here. We've got you some dessert. He quickly ran down the stairs, still covered in muddy dirt. He sat down at the table and tucked into his cake and sprinkles. Suddenly, he got all worried. Oh no, he said. Where's Twinkles? What if I've left him outside and he gets all shivering cold? We need to go and find him. He's really not very old. So they looked in the house where he dumped his bag. They looked in the living room, but Twinkles wasn't around. So they put on their coats and off they went back to every place. They looked everywhere Francis went, but of Twinkles there was no trace. They couldn't find him anywhere. They had to go back home. (sighs) It was getting dark and Francis was worried Twinkles was alone. When they got home, Francis sat down and said, I can't believe I lost Twinkles. I'm going up to bed. So Francis decided to go to his room. Aspen was under the bed. Aspen quickly pulled out Twinkles where he'd been hiding in the den. Oh, Thank you, Aspen. You are my hero, Francis shouted out loud. Auntie Hannah, look! Twinkles has been found! I promise, Twinkles, I'll keep you close. I'll never lose you again. Oh, how lucky I am to have Twinkles and Aspen as friends.